So what's the plan for today, Mike? Ah, uh, shit, we're gonna finish the rest of the grill. We're gonna mop the hood and uh, see if we get that to fit. And then uh, once we get that all dialed in, then we'll go ahead and uh, start welding it together. Right now it's just being held by the kinko, so that's what we're gonna do today. I'll show you something. Show me, show me, show me. We'll put some new hardware. Somebody mentioned in the comments to put a wheel on the on the bead roller. They asked how old was the bead roller that we put the beads on the side. I have no idea. I found it at the swap meet. I didn't even know what it was. I just got it anyway. So I was like, what is this? Ah, forget it. But uh no, putting the stand putting the wheel on it, it's a good idea. I don't use it enough though. And if you put a stand, then I thought about it. If you put a wheel on it, then it's just it's gonna be hard to put away. I can throw it underneath the toolbox right now and it's fine. But I don't hardly ever use it that much, so but anyways, I like that steering wheel, the, the put on the steering wheel is a good idea. By the way, don't think I don't read the comments. I read the comments. I'm just not good at computers, so I don't reply as much. You know what I mean? But I'm paying attention. Right? <laughs> I'm gonna put the bolt on. Okay. I have to cut it here. I'll cut this part out. Chop it up. Okay. You know what I mean? I'm just gonna We could do like, we could do it where we like have the lip right over the, the chrome and make it like a little kind of French thin a little bit or we could just run it right to underneath. Just, you know, get to decide what we want to do. I think if we finish it right underneath, I think it's going to look cool. What do you think, Pinchy Steve? I think it's going to look cool no matter what you do. <laughs> All right, let's do it, Elvis. But I want to get a start. See where I'm gonna start forming it. it. Looks like I got room to go down. Yes. So I might end up going a little bit further back, but I want to do a nice clean cut. That way I can make my sheet metal, and then I'm gonna make it a little bit further back. I might end up splicing in back here so I could bring in the nose together. You know what I mean? See right here. So the the trim used to be here, the hood ornament. So I'm gonna bring this in. What I'm thinking about doing is maybe we can uh, add to this and bring it closer to a peak. I don't know. 
we'll figure it out. I was thinking about doing we'll take the hood apart and we could just leave this and I could just put it on and take it off put it on and take it off without the sides we'll do like a house <laughs> you know what I'm saying we'll take out the well they're gonna have to come apart anyway so that way it's not so heavy trying to take off the whole thing at the same time you know what I mean because we got to curve this in we're gonna curve this down and we're gonna start a new piece so it matches onto the, the new grid, you know what I mean? Oh. What do you think of that? Monday and we're having a currently, huh? It's always good. No matter what day it is for us, though. I hear it going good. Hey, what? Got food! We're just lingering around here. I said, let's go outside so they can see us and I'll be like, we're last in my own feet. That last in my own feet. Steve, stop Steve. fucking around with your camera, homie. So, get to, let's get to eat. Okay. Right here. You gotta make a. Okay, I got it. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. You know what I mean? This is gonna work. This is stainless too. You know what I mean? I can run it up to the spot right there. And then we just go like this, close in the gap, bring it down, you know what I mean? I think this came off of like the, I'm not sure, it came off of the Studebaker, like a 39. We can do about 16 and a half. 16 and a half is the shape. It's a beautiful day, Peachy. Peachy Steve. Woke up breathing. It's always good. If I scribe it, then I know it's going to be clean, clean, pink, it rain. I'll show you how I did that beat. According to my calculations, I think this is gonna work. a little like little bit of French thin you know what I mean so now I'm gonna form it around the grill then we'll form it into the hood and I think it's gonna be cool like that what do you think homie? like it see if we can get it to curve you know around the grill it's kind of trippy because the grill is not only like this it's also like this at the same time so we got to make sure we go like this and at the same time we curve it the other way Woo! I don't know, dog. I don't know if I can do this. I'll try. So it goes this way. 
and then at the same time it goes this way you know what i mean so like right here is it's like curving out and but it's also turning this way so there's, there's two radius right there going on so see so what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna try to get this radius this way like this and then we'll worry about going this way <laughs> yeah it's gonna suck because we got all kinds of shit so we're getting the first radius which is this way and then we'll worry about the one that goes this way because we can't do two things at the same time i mean at least i can i'm sure there's somebody out there that could you know what i mean One-hander and shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Dick? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. That's how you do gangster shit. Mm. That's how a little lip on <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Well, you don't have to, but it looks clean with it, no? How'd you do that? It's gangster style, huh? So what'd you do to make that? Gotta wait for the video, dude. Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what's, quicker, what's quicker when you stretch? The power hammer or the stretcher? We can no, we can stretch it with the planet sure. I got some dies, but well, which eh, one? Which one's quicker? I like this this way because I get to exercise. <laughs> give my give my uh, exercise of the day. You know what I mean? Here's the trick to these fuckers: they move. So what I'm gonna do is bring it all the way down, then we'll shape it right into the hood. That way we got this nice little lip all the way around the grill. It's gonna make it look good. What do you think? Simone? Simone. If you guys dig it, leave a comment. That way we can keep on trucking. If not, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little quicker. Like it plenishes it, but at the same time, it smooths it out, you know? And at the same time, it's stretching it a little more, you know? right here all right if you didn't do it who did it the little mouse yeah. the little <laughs> mouse the little pet mouse the little homie the mouse <laughs> the little fucking pet mouse going around with shit everybody's fucking digging where's the shoes at When people make the hood open like straight up like that, it's just kind of like, oh, you just kind of made it look like a newer car. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean, whatever, dude. Do whatever you want, right? That's what's cool about this shit, man. You no, no rules, just opinions, right? Yeah. There's no rules for this game, you know what I mean? Curve it down a little more, you know? Let's do it. I go little by little, man. You can't overdo it. Man. You know what I mean? Overdo it and you mess up your whole project. I'm still a little long right here. It's fucking me up. Oh man, I want it to be tied out. You know what I mean? It needs to be like facing up like this because the hood comes up. So we gotta go this way some more. Look at how much we gotta go, good lord.
Hello. Yeah. I want it to be just right. You know what I mean? So see right here how it's a little high? Come on, open it up. A little bit, homie. Look at that. Look at that shit, dog. Extra lean, homie. There it is right there. I could probably tighten it up a little more right here so it closes in the gap on this side. Let me do that. Just <laughs> it made a difference. Yeah, right there, just a little bit. I want to be all equally the same, you know what I mean? I don't want to cheat nobody out of their gap, dog. Oh, I need to tighten it up just a little more right here. Just a little teeny more right here. Right here, it's just a teeny bit of cheese. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Perfection, dude. See that? Gangsta lean. Show. Sure. Okay, cool. So we'll worry about, you see this? If you notice, this has to go this way and it's facing that way right now. See? See, it's supposed to come up this way. So we're probably gonna have to do more stretching right here at the end so we can bring it out. You know what I mean? I have to flare it out so we can get match it to the hood. See? It's starting to match, but now I gotta correct this right here. You see right here. See this? Like see that? Uh, matches here and then it opens up and if you put it this way it opens up over here so you look at the teeter tot and that's where you need your stretching at and this that's what I think <laughs> maybe a little a little more right here we're looking good and then we'll give it the contour because it's kind of flat, so we'll contour it up, up, up against it. Now I'll come closer to the machine so I can show you. Shape this right here. Just gotta go back and forth a little, a few times, and then we'll tap, we'll shape it with the hammer. Trying to get that, that radius back in there? Yeah. Such a little piece for so many bends and twists. And right? But this is like the finish, you know? Yeah, a lot happening on that little. This is a little tiny. I think that's it right there, bro. When we're finished, it should have a little gap like that, but we'll make it nice and round, clean, so it unites, comes together, you know? Go ahead and make this. Then we'll bring it together. We gotta do this now, because I'm gonna shape those to the, we gotta do that finish right here. Gotta make these pieces contour around the finish. Should we take it all the way over here? 
or should we end it right about here and then continue the sheet metal that way it looks all clean here you know we got so many choices the thing is that if we run it all the way over here then we got to make some kind of attachment to to hold on to it because it can't just be floating right there or could it <laughs> could it float <laughs> okay i already got this fitting on nice i think I, I think we're just gonna run it up to here you know what i mean and from there on we just make the, the, the panel you know what i mean Don't yell at me, homie. I'm trying to do a video right now, huh? So maybe we, maybe it'll work for us. Maybe it won't. You know what I mean? What we'll do is, well, this is stainless, so we'll make it happen right here somehow. About the local style, you know what I'm saying? So we finished doing the trim in the middle. Let's get started on the finish the hood. Hopefully we'll get it done today. I think we're going to get it done today. And then bring it down this way and shorten the gap. So I'm going to make a curve here so it goes around the finish right here and then bring it this way. Let me see if I can pull it off. Let's go see how it looks. that so it goes like this around the let's go try it out yeah this one's coming together quick huh, huh? this piece is quick oh yeah I knew it was, once we got I knew it was gonna go pretty quick we just gotta make the other one now and we're gonna cut out a 45 when we united with this one once we cut it at the 45, when united, then we'll go ahead and plunge it to curve it. You see right there, actually. Gonna cut it out of 45. Right here. All right, man. <laughs> right out of the box, dude. What the box? Right out of the box. Don't fuck around around. Don't fucking home. get to work. Can't even do a gangster style, dog. I know some people don't like a gangster style. Man. Look at that. How pretty it looks. A little shot right there, show the peeps what's up. The panel's a little higher, so. 
needs a little fitting, huh? Well, we'll fuck with it once we got it all welded up. See, I can see a tire right here. See? Right here. So, don't trip, put it on the chair. What do you think, homie? It's badass, dude. We got everything all screwed down. Let me take a flick. Before and after, though. This right here, this right here. It's gonna go. Get up. Here, my steps. Shit takes time, dude. You know. So we gotta now. We're gonna cut this off. This lip. So we'll be able to slide it over. If not, we can't slide it over. But we won't be able to splice it in. a little process. The cool thing about this is we're not on the ground going up and down. is as thick as the sawzall blade. It's real thin, so you can cut it open and you can use the sawzall. You know what I mean? You think 
like, why don't you cut it with the blade all the way? Well, the difference with cutting it with this or the blade is that this doesn't warm it up, you know what I mean? So. Hopefully, like, you know, people get to see this and they appreciate custom work, you know, when they see like a custom grill and shit um, or anything custom. Down, but once we finish it with the hammer, we'll put it on the hammer. We'll come back to that. I remember Everybody's tripped out on the carpet. Everybody's tripping out on the chin. Let's get cracking on some welding because we're trying to finish this car. You know? Let's start.
like you knew what you're doing. No, I don't know what I'm doing. That's the fucking problem. I don't know. I don't know. We're gonna do that all the way around. So for all those people that wanna watch the whole thing, get ready. Get yourself an adult beverage. <laughs> get yourself an adult beverage. Get yourself a motherfucking beer. And we're here for a ride, don't be yeah. west side till I die. Right. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
get it out. See this piece, I already cut it out. No, it's stuck on the middle. I was that's what I was trying to clear out when it stuck on this little bracket. Oh, I still got a little piece right there. Oh, I get it. That's the old grill. So now I just all I did is just kept this uh, the lip. The lip. Interesting. So it looks clean, you know what I'm saying? So I just used the compound from the existing grill. You probably could have made it anyway, but it was already. I could have made it, but it was already on the car. Yeah, it's like there. I'm gonna you the, the same amount of time it's gonna take. It's already well, got the yeah. hose. It's got the curve. You know what I mean? It's got, the, it's got this, this radius. It's got, yeah, it's got a, a, that radius. So it's like, so it'll take me a little time to weld it. It would have took me the same amount of time to make, to make that. You know what I mean? So, either way, either way, it's all good. Let's go see what kind of feel it's doing. This little uh, 50 Mercury we've been uh, doing over here on the side, sleeper style, you know what I mean? Doing a, uh, you know, LS3, LS3 swap, clipped it in the front end, did the IFS, power steering, all kinds of shit. Hey, you know what I'm thinking, homie? Mm. We're gonna drop the dash, dude. So, start taking off the garnish molding. We had to raise the tunnel up on the, on the frame because the, what is this? 6L80? Six speed? I don't know. It's huge. So. Is that the, the high coming from? Huh? It's high, no? Yeah, it's hot, but we'll see. We're gonna have to customize the seat too. Did a little wax link on it. Check out the back. Come on. Neat. Mm. 
Mm. Alright, let's fucking do this shit, homie. Grab a beer, fucking sit back, relax, cause here we go, dog. Take you for a little tocha ride. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Gotta give it some time, dog. Let me relax. All right, homie. It's fucking party time, homie. Let it cool down a little bit, big dog. I'm too crazy. Chuko style, homie. <laughs> Show! All right, stop fucking around. Get back to work. Sure. Move. 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 Oh, almost went through the whole thing. What's that to like that? <laughs> Yeah, homie, let's put it back together again. 